there's a reason, and Cindy, as well as all you ladies who always hold it in, there's a reason why you may not want to. Because believe it or not, there are times where you're holding it in no matter who you are. Say you're in the elevator. Never mm -hmm. a good time, right? Ever been in the elevator? You're like, oh no. <laughs> What's going on? Well, the problem is what you're doing when you hold in your farts is that gas wants to go this way, out. Instead, it will migrate up your colon. And when air starts to fill, these are your col colonic flexures here. When it fills that area, what it does is it stretches your colon, which creates a lot of pain. And the longer you hold it in, the more what you'll find is you're cramping, you've got those bubbly noises, which in and of themselves, those strange noises, you're not quite sure what they are when you're in the elevator, they're sometimes not any better than just letting one go, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so Cindy, as Dr. Travis showed you, you hold it in, you're really forming those severe pressure pockets, and I think you touched on it. It's not gonna come out as a burp. There's <laughs> yeah. only one way that it can come out. So if you hold on to it, when it does come out, it's gonna be louder and it's gonna be stinkier. 